So now we're going to look at custom fields at the list level for customers, vendors, and employees. Okay, so when you add a custom field here, you either go into your customer list, your vendor list, or your employee list. You can start at either one. So let's pretend we had a custom field that we wanted to add to all three lists. I'm going to go to my customer center and I can choose any customer that I have set up in here. Right click and edit the customer. Okay, now when I come in here, I have my additional information tab and that's where I'm going to find my custom fields. So I have a couple set up in here already, but I'm going to go ahead and define a new one. So I click define fields. Okay, so I have a whole bunch set up in here actually. Uh, so let's say we're going to add a new field um, that's just called data. I don't know why we're using it. <laughs> so we add this field called data or let's let's make it region. Okay, so that's something we talked about before. So when we're talking about region, right? We're not going to sell an item in a particular region, right? We're selling to a customer in a region. We're buying from a vendor in a region where we have employees in a particular region, right? So when we choose region, okay, we can choose to have it show up on the customer list and maybe the vendor list, but not the employee list. We're going to leave that one blank. So this is not something we want to track at the employee level. If I added it to all three, it would enable this custom field on all three lists. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on all three so we can go peek and take a look. Okay. So then we have what kind of data? Of course, you can see here in enterprise, you have the ability to add many more fields than you do, almost double the amount of fields you do when it comes to uh, Pro and Premiere. So you have a lot more options. Again, check out our video about custom field overview though, because custom fields may not be the best way to go about doing everything, all right? Uh, and if you're still curious about it, definitely set up a time with us. We can take you through, you know, all the different options and what we should use it for. So I'm choosing region, right? Because I've already used customer type. I've already used sales rep. Uh, and, you know, there's no additional field that I've seen at the customer level that I can use for region. So that's why I'm using this as a custom field. So with my drop down here, I can do any text. I can do some numbers if we want to whole numbers, uh, numbers with two decimals. Remember again, if you haven't watched the one in items I go through, it's very specific. So if you say two decimals, it has to have two decimals. It can't be two. It has to be 2.00. Okay. It can be kind of annoying. Dates. I don't usually recommend using. I've rarely used dates with my customers. Um, phone options in here again I've rarely used this but I mean I guess we can set it up I've seen I can understand why you maybe would want to use it but most of this stuff I just ignore and I either choose any text and I choose any text only if it has to be something that we cannot make a multiple choice list so any text I'll use if we're pushing data in from an outside system uh, if it's I don't know, we have a PO number from the customer, but we also have a uh, RFQ number or something that we need to track. So it's something that is going to be unique every time. But the majority of the times I tell my customers, try to use a multiple choice field. Why do we want to do that? Because a multiple choice field creates consistency, okay? Consistency, even if you're consistently wrong, right, we can still figure out what's going on. So if you force them to choose from a drop-down list as opposed to free typing in your regions, you're going to have a lot more consistency. Okay, because as an example, somebody might put in NW if it's free type and then the next person might put in Northwest. So you want to have that consistency so that they only can choose the option you want them to choose. Okay, so I'm just going to say North, South, east, west, to be simple with my regions here. Also, you want to make sure to uncheck this box down below. You don't want them to be able to add their own text because then it might as well just be free text, right? Okay. You can come in and edit your multiple choice list in multi-user mode now. So that's something that changed a couple years back if it's been a little bit since you've looked at this. And then if you want to sort the list, it'll put it in alphabetical order for you. Okay, but the nice part about this is if I'm typing in a region and I have this multiple choice drop down, I just can start typing E and it'll pull up East. Okay, then I have the required area here. So if you want to require it to be entered on a list, that'll allow it, you know, if you, if you enter it at the list level first, it will default fill in on the transaction for you. 
Uh, if you want to require on or transaction, so if there's no default, you want to require that it's filled in on the transaction level, you can check this off. Of course, that field has to be enabled on that template for it to be something that's required. Okay. So now again, my region shows up here at the customer level. I can choose a region so that it has a default for me, but if I can edit on the transaction as well. So what's nice is once I add it to custom field here, I can come in even and customize my columns, scroll down, add that region, right? And now my regions are showing up on my list here. I can also do, if you guys are looking to mass fix some things, some paste from Excel. Um, so make sure to check out those videos. So once I have it here, so it's at the customer level, let's go in and make sure. So when I go into a vendor and I double click to edit it and go to additional information, oh, there's my region there. Okay, and same with employees. Double click, additional info, there's my region. Okay. All right, so that is custom fields, how to set them up at the customer, employee, and vendor level.